Focus is required. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Colossians 3, 23-24 This pretty much says it all about our lives. Be focused on all you do. Know your mission like our Lord Jesus. Focus is required on your job. Focus is required on your relationships. Focus is required on your business. Focus is required on your marriage. Focus is required on your finances. Focus is required on whatever you do. If you hold yourself accountable to work in such a way that you are striving to please the Father, being diligent and disciplined to do your best, you will find yourself being empowered by the Spirit to live out what Oswald Chambers famously wrote as being my utmost for his highest. Paul knew that the people in Colossae were facing many religious and philosophical options, none of which were neutral, but practical day-to-day -day decisions which needed focus too. Notice Paul doesn't say, just add Jesus to what you already believe, or factor Jesus into your philosophy, or include Jesus in this or that ritual. The claim that Jesus is Lord does allow you and I to include him in all our daily living. If Jesus is creator, sustainer, and redeemer of all creation, then all issues in our lives are his issues. Whatever you do, focus is required. Proverbs 29, 25. Fear and intimidation is a trap that holds you back. But when you place your confidence in the Lord, you will be seated in the high place. When our focus and confidence is in the Lord Jesus, we trust him for the success of your job, your relationships, your business, your marriage, your finances. Whatever you do, focus is required. Brothers and sisters, it isn't enough just to believe the right things. Right belief always produces right living. The gift of salvation demands that we put into practice the character of our King. Just as we take off and throw away old, worn-out clothes, we must strip off certain attitudes and actions of our old selves. Our attitudes and actions in our practical daily living should be done as unto the Lord. Focus and excellency, that is who Jesus is. It is not enough to strip off the old, we must put on the new. And that new creation has many qualities of Jesus focus, compassion, gentleness, and humility, putting up with each other, forgiving each other, and above all, loving each other. These are the ways of Jesus, so they must be our ways too. The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and take care of it, according to Genesis 2.15. Adam and Eve fell from grace when they lost focus. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Yes, establish the work of our hands, according to Psalm 9017. Whatever you do, focus is required. Proverbs 425. Let your eyes look directly forward and your gaze be straight before you. Distraction is the nemesis of focus. We are constantly tempted to pull away from a consistent focus on Christ. As a result, we often find ourselves being tossed to and from by the concerns of life. Keeping focus on Christ means that we are purposely fading out everything that pulls us away from connecting with Him. It's a disciplined lifestyle of choosing to see every blessing and struggle through the lens of Christ. How can we stay focused in a world of busyness? We are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. 2 Peter 3.13 It's so easy to get caught up into the cares of this world and neglect the hope we have in the next one. There's nothing wrong with being involved and engaged in politics, work-related issues, family demands, or community concerns. Our problems arise when we leave Jesus out of them. Pray that God will be at the center of your daily living. Whatever you do, focus is required. Focus. 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 Wearing eyeglasses helps many of us see more clearly. Otherwise, a world would look like a blurry mess. Focusing on the Lord instead of our needs or wants takes great discipline. 
We must be willing to lay aside our fears, worries, or anything that seeks to drain us of hope in Christ. He knows what we need and when we must absolutely have it. Our focus should and always remain grounded in faith that God is in control. Take some time today to clean your spiritual glasses so you can see more clearly the Lord who loves you unconditionally. The Lord who wants you to excel and succeed in all you do. Success in your job. Success in your relationships. Success in your business. Success in your marriage. Success in your finances. Success in whatever you do. Proverbs 16.3 Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. Here are some practical ways for a born-again believer to stay focused on Christ. Commit to reading the Bible. It is impossible for a believer to be consistently in the Word without having his attention drawn again and again to Christ. The scriptures point to me, Jesus said. The focus on the Word of God is to have the Son of God brought more into focus. When this happens, our life is saturated with him and that influences all the other areas of our lives. The other way to keep focused is to develop your prayer life. If you want to know how to pray, read Jesus' instructions to his disciples in Luke 11, 1 through 13. As you speak to the Lord throughout your day, you will naturally be more focused on him. Little things, big things. We can come to the Lord with all of our cares. The command is to pray continually, according to 1 Thessalonians 5.17, to always be in an attitude and atmosphere of instant prayer, interceding for our jobs, businesses, and all things practical to our daily living. Trust the Lord as your only protector. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only He will release my feet from the snare, according to Psalm 25.15. Once we understand the spiritual dangers we face daily, we will focus more on Christ, our one and only Savior, who alone has the power of deliverance and success. If Jesus is creator, sustainer, and redeemer of all creation, then all issues in our lives are his issues. Whatever you do, focus is required. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Colossians 3.23-24 This pretty much says it all about our lives. Be focused on all you do. Know your mission like our Lord Jesus. Recognize your need and the Lord as the source of all good things. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maidservant to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, till he has mercy upon us, according to Psalm 123.2. The world offers various means of obtaining love, joy, and peace, but they are destined to disappoint. The believer understands that love, joy, and peace, and a myriad of other fine gifts are the direct result of his relationship with Christ, according to Galatians 5, 22 through 23. God bless you.